a lot of history back here. Uh, you screw up in society, they send you to jail, you screw up in jail, they send you back here. Um, strip of your clothes, you get one shower on the way in. Um, paper outfit. It wasn't until after civil rights before they even put toilets in here. It was just the bare floor with the drain, the bucket kind of solitary confinement. And then later on, after civil rights, they did finally have the sinks and the toilets. But anyways, back in the early 30s, uh, there's a prison break down here. Guy got out of the shower, broke the uh, lock with a uh, metal pipe. Also used that metal pipe on a guard by the name of Frank Hanger. He's doing his rounds, came around the corner, got clubbed over the head with a lead pipe. Um, took him about a day or two, but the wounds did actually kill him eventually, and the guy was sent to the electric chair for the crime. And I believe also two of the people that were involved in the escape also went to the chair for that. Later on, on the 1950s, I think it was 57, there was a riot in the yard. Turns out about 120 prisoners were found guilty of inciting the riot, and back then we only had 20 cells back here. Quick math means that six guys per cell and 20 cells down here for a 30 day stretch with one shower on the way in and one on the way out. And in the meantime, they keep it above 90 degrees down here because of lethargic prisoners, easier to manage. Like just brutal conditions. You had to take turns to sleep, standing room only in the cells. Several deaths, strangulation, stabbings, uh, things like that. Um, I know of at least one hanging. Uh, a friend of mine stayed at uh, Mansi for a little while and told me a story about a uh, big guy and a little guy in a cell. The little guy keeps getting his food stolen from him because it's only every third day that they give you a free meal and it's bread and broth on the two days in between. The little guy keeps getting his food taken away. He's getting hungry. He's had enough. I don't remember exactly how he did it, whether it was strangulation or he stabbed him, but somehow he managed to get the jump on the big guy and kill him. And now he's got two trade meals and uh, that guy under the bunk. They do a head count, of course. They notice somebody missing that same day. They throw the lights on, open the cell out, and extract them. What happened? I don't know what happened. Of course he doesn't. It was an accident. A lot of accidents in jail. Um, but the guy is still definitely in the nut ward next door at the maximum, maximum, secu maximum security correctional. Uh, also, the floor below us is worth noting because it's the section that uh, taps seeing that or on camera come down the hallway. Now, I haven't actually seen anything down here except for the shadow man at the end of this hallway here. That's that story I was telling you about a little while ago. This was the hallway that I walked down when everybody else took the one on the other side because these cells are back to back with a maintenance alley in between. I was down at the end and there's a glass block wall or a glass block window on the wall, I mean. It's about five feet off the ground. And that's where I see the shadow on my side is completely block off the light and come towards me to go down the stairs. Never felt it, never heard it, no wind or anything, but it definitely got my attention. Uh, this is the cell that I actually got a really good EVP in. I was sitting here one night about a year ago today um, and started a EVP session about 15-20 minutes in. Um, I asked how many guards were on this floor, and uh, a few seconds went past. I kind of felt something touch my head right about here, and at the same time, I saw, saw a blackish mist kind of roll in through the top. Um, and as we were playing the recording back, um, shortly after my hair got, got touched here, uh, somebody had answered me that there were five guards on this floor. Um, we've had a couple other things happen in this cell. Um, you know, little noises and things that we hear. Um, it seems to be the only cell up here with a mattress, so it's easy to, to mark. We're in Mansfield Prison um, currently, and we've been experiencing a gentleman here. Story goes that one of the guards um, was beaten severely to death um, by an, an inmate. And we think that we're kind of picking up a few things on him. Right now we've got a motion detector camera right um, down this way, as well as Charlie, which is the little toy that, if you, it's got like little needles in it, put your hand on it, forms, you know, 
uh, the imprint of that. So we're hoping that we can get a little activity that way. We are going to um, split up into two teams, and we're going to just walk and meet and just kind of force the spirit in one particular area to see if we can get um, some type of evidence on the camera. So hopefully with some luck this will work and if not then uh, we'll experience some things all along our journey as we take this walk. So we'll see what happens. Sorry, I'm kind of get that, that sick feeling. It's weird. I'm, I'm all right, but it's... Come on, buddy. You're already messing with us. No, you're here. Where are you at? Can you make a sound to tell us where you're at? Are you in one of these cells? Kick it, move it, manipulate it in any way you feel that you can. That's, I don't know what that is still. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> you have to dump that bag. Mm -hmm. This one still gets me even though it's not that. Battery is slowly going down. Interesting. So it's not In 30 seconds, you've lost two minutes. That's never happened when I use it. It was at 86. Literally 30 seconds ago. Yeah. It went to being so like creepy. To being in a room? To just being just normal. A little bit. It's over there is where it's creepy, but over here it feels like that there's still several inmates in these things. You know what yes. I'm saying? Well, there's that one. Not the main. No, there's one down there that I got that too, right where the camera's set. Uh -huh. That cell has someone in it, I believe. We are looking for you to communicate with us. That's odd, your camera's not going off. You know, I bet you didn't do oh, very it, nice things. It will, it, it gives um, about a minute. I bet you okay. didn't do very nice things when you were here to these prisoners. The least that you could do would be to help us out with our research. Do something good finally, you know? Redeem yourself. Just slam one of these doors. Walking in is about 10, 15 seconds prior. Just for listening like yeah. that helps you because I'm tired or something. Come on, do something. Slam one of these doors. That's all the proof we need that you're that you really exist and that you're here. Feelings change down here. It is. It's not as heavy, is it? Well, it, it just, it, pardon this, it's dead. Yeah. Because when, but see, the thing is, is that when we were separated, my, it, it was really weird. It, I was more on edge. All right, well. Well, let's go to some of those cells. Let's not waste our time. Yeah. Obviously. Here, I'll get Charlie. Are you going to leave Charlie? Might be interesting. Do okay. what? Well, let's leave Charlie and leave your okay, Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. We're in solitary confinement. Eric and I on the step. It's going to do some quiet. Just sit still. See if we can pick up anything. That's right. There's a woman in solitary. Wow. She's down here, and the flash went off. Yeah, I could have, I could have picked her up. Yeah, I mean, it did pick her up. It did? If you came down this way and you're still with us, what are you doing down here? Go down there. That's been a long time since you've seen a woman. Hmm. 
do something. Here I am. Get ready to leave. You're going to lose your chance. Come grab my ass.